you having your breakfast, Brindley? Why are you sitting on the shelf? Having your breakfast? What are you doing, doggies? Hello, puppy dogs! <laughs> Hello, Bandy. Hello. Hello, Biscuit. There's Biscuit. Oh, beautiful babies. Brindley, however, is eating all the food. Welcome to Westport Lakes. It's a very cold Tuesday morning. It's the 17th of October and we're going to Middleport Potteries today. We're cruising there but earlier yesterday uh, we all went for a little bit of a meal in the cafe and visitor centre here but we had a lovely walk around the lake and it took all of 15 minutes. It was about 15 minutes. It wasn't very long but it was beautiful. It was very very nice and it's pushchair friendly. We had the chugger pups in the chugger buggy and we had a lovely walk. There was all sorts of birds. We saw swans, uh, bionic coots. They were I tell huge. you these buggers are on steroids. They're huge. I don't know what went wrong with them. Uh, geese. Yeah. What else? You uh, know we, your birds. I haven't got a clue. They all look the same. Sanders. We saw we, we did. grebes. We, we saw grebes. Uh, cormorants. Cormorants. All sorts. Seagulls. Seen... There's plenty of bloody seagulls. There's lots of them, yeah. There's loads of pigeons. Yes, flying rats are everywhere. Primrose love them. Yes. And oh, we saw two rats as well. <laughs> they were like cats. But it's lovely here. Westport Lakes. There's nothing that you couldn't like about this place. Man-made, by the way. I think it was a farmer that made it. So the people of the potteries could come and have a little break if they couldn't afford to go to Rill or Blackpool. They came here. Anyway, we're leaving here today, but we are going to come back, I think. Uh, we're heading up the Colden today, we think, after a short visit to uh, Middleport Pottery, so uh, we better get on the boat. Yep, we're off. See you in a minute. Just to make you feel welcome. <laughs> Don't get too attached to that coat. Tis mine. Tis not. Finders keepers. Yes, I found it. I found it. <laughs> We've loved it here at Westport Lakes. Absolutely lovely place. We have enjoyed it here and you may ask, well, why have you only stayed one night if you're enjoying it? Well, the reason is we never got to meet Matt, Sally and uh, little Rupert. Uh, Steve's grandson and family uh, the other day. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't make it, so we're meeting them on Friday up the Colden Canal. Uh, so that's why we've got to move today. But uh, Nikki and I are certainly coming back here when we come off the Colden and uh, yeah, do a bit more exploring. Really nice. And that visitor centre, absolutely gorgeous. Went up there yesterday. What a view overlooking the two lakes here at Westport Lakes. Beautiful. And just ahead of us is the first bottle kill, the first of many that we're going to see as we go through the potteries. But this particular uh, pottery, uh, you may not know it, but you will know some of the products that come from it. If you're of a certain age like myself, you'll certainly recognise some of the teapots that were made here. And we're just getting our first little glimpse there. There's the one of the two chimneys. The other one is a bottle kiln, which you can see just around the corner. I know my mum and my nan used to collect these little quirky teapots. They were shaped like houses, little cottages and all sorts. And if you're of my age, you've probably seen one. Well, they were made here at the Price Kensington Teapot Factory. It's lovely to see so many of these old buildings still standing. And I believe a businessman, a local businessman has invested in this and is going to do it up as small little units so 
crafty people can come and make and sell their wares here. I hope it comes through. It's just beautiful. You can imagine the old working boats loading here by the side of the canal. It's truly one of the nicest buildings we've ever seen on the canals. It may not be everyone's taste with its broken windows and wacky architecture, but it's definitely ours. You like it too. We had a nice walk here yesterday. We found a nice little shop down the road and some lovely buildings down the road there too. And here, coming into view, is the first of the many bottle kilns that we're going to see on our little journey through the potteries. I know that's had some renovation work done to it. When I came through a few years ago, there was a whopping big hole in the side of it. And luckily now, it's all getting repaired. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is Stoke Boats and uh, yeah, Nikki likes this little boat. She said it's like a shoe. They might do one for the left foot. Isn't that the cutest little boat you've ever seen? I think the roof box is nearly as big as the boat. Look at that. I like that. And of course Stoke Boats, they make some wonderful boats here. A lot of dreams come true. Today is a school day and you just saw Lily there just coming to ask some questions with her mum. They are set some work, so uh, they're doing the work in the boat at the moment. I think Lily's going to write a story for her mum now. She is, yeah. So Lily's writing a story and uh, little Noah's doing some maths. He likes his maths. And just coming into view is the very beautiful Middleport Potteries. It was used for a lot of filming of Peaky Blinders. So we're moored up in the most wonderful place. Lovely buildings. It's nice, isn't it? I like I like them because they're old and decrepit like me. Like Just because she's Nikki's got new boots today. Can you see? So now she likes to stand by me and look down on me. It's only because she's got boots on. What a wonderful place. We better go and make inquiries, otherwise they'll think we're not gonna pay. Come on, rest you. Right, let's go and have a look.
It's really nice walking around here. You can actually imagine the people still working here. He's never done a day's work in his life. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous though, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Middleport Pottery is still working today and still turning out some beautiful tableware and uh, you've seen a bit in the shop earlier on but uh, yeah Nikki and I are going to go and do a little bit of a tour and then the kids are going to do some school work on it uh, another day. see behind me is the Dane and she was built in 1946 she used to carry raw clay from Cornwall Cornwall had white clay and all around here in the potteries it was red clay uh, Middleport wanted white clay so the Dane brought it up from Cornwall and then when the finished uh, manufacturing process was done the teapots plates and cups and saucers were exported and Dane used to take them to Liverpool what a beautiful old boat. Right, we're doing the heritage tour. We've got stickers. Nikki's got her sticker. We've got stickers and we've got a fob that lets us in. So come on, we'll have a bit of a look round. It's only a quick look round because uh, we have got some cruising to do. Which way, Billy? Uh, I think it's down this way. Right, come on. So that bottle kiln that I filmed, we're just about to trip up and break my neck walking around it. Let's have a look. Obviously, one of the entrances where the kiln was loaded. Peace. 
think we'd have walked around here when it was lit. Look at the history. You can see the braces help support the inner kill. This is wonderful. What do you think, my love? Isn't it nice? I know, it's gorgeous. So now when we see someone we're cruising around, we know what's inside them. Right, let's go and have a look inside the cat. Isn't it brilliant? So it's quite hard to believe that we're right in the heart of a pottery bottle kill. This is just amazing. So this is the heart of a bottle kill. We are in the middle. It's just beautiful. Fires were lit under the floor too, so the heat in here must have been tremendous. Do you know, we were just saying, if we were to go back to the boat now, we'd be happy boaters. That was amazing. I can't we to We've been there. in a kiln. I'm just glad it was turned off. Yeah. Mm. It's hard to believe that uh, the potteries once had as many as 4,000 bottle kilns. Not many of them left, but we will see some on our little cruise. We've reached a dead end. <laughs> Heritage to We won't go there. So it's a dead end that way. That yeah, let's go. Anyway, on the table, and that was always changed every day. Um, so I remember she just she just had one block of large green square. This was the day before. Uh, Part of the Heritage Trail includes a walk around this house, nineteen fifties house. Frightening thing is, I recognise a lot of this. And no, I wasn't around in the fifties. Just outside the entrance. You See the, the entrance there to Millport Potteries are the old houses. There's a whole street. On the far side is the factory, and on this side, a load of the old mill workers' houses. There's the old Weybridge. Obviously, not doing any way in today. Next is Darling. Yeah. I wish. Does that mean we can have a bath? Really Let's have a look if we can have a bath. It smells. It smells nice. What have we got? Is it just the toilet? What's in there? It's the lobby. Lots and lots of sinks. Can't they smile? There is a bath. Are you kidding me? No. What? Oh. Oh. oh, did you have the camera? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and that was that. Now we both know someone that could talk for hours about this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> He'd love that. He'd love it. Yeah. Very nice, but I haven't got a clue.
back on chucks well i hope you enjoyed that little walk very little walk around middle port potteries definitely recommend it we both really enjoyed it but for us the highlight was definitely going in that bottle kiln amazing right let's get in touch with steve and let's get going to new waters for nikki and myself we're going to the calder So what did you think of Millport, Middleport Pottery? I really enjoyed it. It's good, wasn't it? It was lovely looking around, yeah. And I already know the answer. <laughs> the bottle kill. That was your favourite? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, to go inside that was pretty special. Very impressed, very, very impressed, and we were surprised. Yeah, the writing, and we can see it up there. But we were surprised to learn that the majority of their wares that they're still producing today, 80% of it goes across to the states. Um, and in fact, we do have uh, one large contract with Ralph, Ralph Loren, whoever he is. Just love this architecture. <laughs> 